Hi, okay, so this is my multimedia thesis memoir, 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 I don't know, um, day two of my thesis experience. So what I'm going to talk about is I titled it Finding a Project, and I do have notes right here to keep me focused, so, you know, so I'll be able to go along with that as I read, okay, or as I talk. So, okay, so I talked a little bit in the last video about how I fell in love with positive psychology, during the seminar process because one of the last topics we did was positive psychology. And I was like, oh my god, numbers, happiness, ah, this is the best. Okay, so yeah. So we were going into having a topic, I remember myself saying, we're ha you're all going to have a topic by Christmas break, which was like 10 kinds of terrifying. And um, I remember like, okay, even though I didn't, I, I don't think I didn't admit to myself that I love positive psychology because I was afraid of how scientific it was and I was afraid that I couldn't do it. So when we started to talk about topics, I was like, you know, can I really do the science? Like, I don't know about all that. Um, I mean, my own study would be cool, but like really like science, like come on Gabs, you like can't add things. So I came up with two other projects where we're utter nonsense. Or, okay, I still kind of really believe in the first project secretly, but, like, I guess I'm not going to tell anyone that at this point. But, <laughs> but basically, I, my idea with the first project was that I was going to prove the ex existence of God through, like, his, through his or her um, presence in, like, so many cultures. And, like, I was going to, like, talk about, like, phenomena that people had explained with God. And I was like, I'm going to prove God's existence, like, holistically through, like, the study of history or something crazy and my second project was mathematical analysis of poetry so if there's a way to quantify what makes something a good poem back to math I don't know I also thought Tao was really cool and I was like I kind of okay anyways so it's a pretty crushing moments with picking a project obviously the God and religion proving God's existence would not have worked. One, two, what can you say about religion that hasn't already been said? But I was just really caught up in my fascination with religion. You know, I, we had done lots of, we'd studied it a lot in class, and I was just really like fascinated with like the way religion happens. So I was like, what if I can prove them? You know, through like, I, I don't know exactly. I think I like wanted, so I have this crackpot theory that dark matter is the reason. Wait, my dad. That, like, dark matter is God. I don't know. I think that, like, dark matter... Like, because it's that weird, um, like, unexplainable thing in the universe that, like, none of our equations work without. That, like, it needs to be there for things to work. But, like, it's not, like, anything we can, like, see, s smell, touch, make, taste, measure. But it makes up, like, 99% of the universe. So I'm pretty sure that God is dark matter. But I wanted to do a thesis about my, like, crackpot religious theory. And, um... So... And I talked to Mr. Hubbard about it, and you know Mr. Hubbard's so, like, that, like, you know, abstract and, like, cool that he was like, yeah, that sounds very fascinating. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, maybe for, like, a science fiction thing. And I was like, but I want to prove it. But, like, I didn't say that. I just went with it. Okay, so then I, I leave Mr. Hubbard, and I go talk to Mr. Ingholm about it. And he said, well, Gabrielle, you can't do a thesis about why God exists. And I was crushed. And... I, he was right, like, I needed to hear that, but I was like, uh, um. And then I rolled around on the writing center floor and cried to myself about how I didn't have a project and I didn't have a thing and I wanted to talk about religion, but no one cared about religion and, like, yada, yada, yada. So, and that, like, okay, so... So, Miss Sutcliffe was like, Gabrielle, you're very interested in religion and you're very interested in happiness. So why don't you just... She did, like, I'm, I'm speaking in a soft voice because she does, like, the angel. So that's what I went into thesis with religion. Quote: I said my topic is religion and happiness. Like I didn't like life's crazy. And the second thing that I, I think is important is that when I was picking an advisor, I knew that I was probably doing something that was not. I, I realized that I think I had the sense that I was going to do something out of my comfort zone, or I can't remember if I heard. I can't remember when we pick advisors, but. Whenever we pick advisors, like, 
the most it's so much more important that your advisor is good friends with you and cares about you as a person rather than about is good at your topic unless like you're doing a scientific study in which case like it's probably good to have a Mr. Franco because I just sort of figured that out on my own but like Miss Kirshner was Miss Kirshner was what I needed and I think that the advisors that don't do anything because they don't really they're like oh whatever are like what really messed people up in the end all right so I went in so stay tuned for the next installment of religion and happiness and it's just so crazy because, like, my topic obviously is so different now. You know, fraction focus, we have flow. I mean, like, it's just, it's mind-blowing how much my topic changed from that moment. And from that moment of, like, utter terror. And then Miss Eccles knew that, and she was like, just go for it and you'll figure it out. Like, in research, and I figured it out in full time, which we'll talk about later.